Hello friends, neighbors, I'm John your neighbor here. Welcome down the nook and welcome to a pretty special edition. It is Saturday, uh, but I have a bottle of the second expiration series, Lot 40, finished in Port Cass. Only available in Ontario, but Canadian Chris got me this bottle, gave me this bottle. Hats off, sir. I am so excited. Uh, you know, we're going to open this. Like, I'm literally opening it right now. I'll pour it. Uh, then I'll probably cut and come back because I do want this to breathe a little bit. And then I'm also pretty excited to shoot this against um, this Milliman Green because the Milliman Green here has been a favorite. I had it early in the year um, and this is actually a second bottle. And so, you know, when we come back, I'll, I'll open this off screen, but I just wanted you to know I just got this and I'm opening it with you. So we'll talk lot 40, uh, rye, it's not quite cast strength, 53, 53.1%. 50, I mean, maybe that is cast, who knows how it came out. But we'll talk more about this rye and then I'll shoot it against this lovely rye and we'll just see where we go. So pour something, pour a Canadian rye would be best. If not, pour any rye and come on back. Three, four. All right, I decided to take my break there uh, rather than just later on. So these have now been both poured, both opened and rested. So we can kind of talk this whiskey. Now, uh, I don't know enough about this uh, port finished lot 40 rye. There was a serious controversy in Ontario because the LCBO uh, posted a picture of a 16 year old rye and then delivered this. This is non-age stamp. Uh, it, uh, I can only assume is the way they normally age lot 40, which is to put 100% unmalted rye into new oak barrels aged here on an unknown amount but it does clearly say that it's finished in french oak casks that were seasoned with port um so that much i know yep finished in port seasoned french oak casks 53.1 percent so a little low for a cast strength also, uh, I was reading, I was, there's not enough written about it. And one person did mention, you know, all the other lot 40s say 100% rye on here. And this doesn't. But I'm assuming, again, Dr. Don Livermore, I'd love to get more information directly from you. But I'm going to assume this is lot 40, 100% unmalted rye. I'm going to assume, you know, I, I'm sure it's pot still like they do the other one and then aged in new oak, and then finished in French oak, seasoned with port. Well, let's get at this whiskey. Oh, and as I said in the opener, Canadian Chris, wow, thank you. Let's talk this rye. Huh. You know, it, it actually, my first nose, I thought, oh, this is Lot 40. Like, I, I can smell a little bit of rye spice, a little bit of rye bread. but it carries into port. And with that, I mean, what are some dark but sweeter fruits for you? Um, actually quite sweet. So it could even be berries. Could even be like a raspberry, uh, maybe as sweet as a strawberry. I'm actually getting a lot of sugars now. Yep, the more I nose this, the more it goes into some sweet berried fruits. But the first whiff, like even though it's been open for a while, I haven't been swirling it or blowing on it or anything. I've just been letting it sit. Actually spoke rye, which is nice. Yeah, me, you know, maybe hints of other things like chocolate or a little musty oak or those kinds of things going on. But pretty sweet and, and, uh, and berry-like on the nose with a little bit of rye spice and rye goodness kicking around. Not a lot of dill or, or, or menthol or any of those, you know, sometimes rye can give off a lot of that, that grass note. I'm not getting it right now on the nose. Might come up later. Let's get into this. Cheers. Okay, first sip, 
really is probably an acclimatizing sip. I mean, it's the first of this, but I am um, greeted with spice, cracked pepper, musty oak, and take those fruits into dark places, a little bit of tobacco, more oak, more spice. There is a sweetness now to the fruit, but it is definitely playing for me into a, into a peppered, gingered, uh, musty oak location, quite spicy. Um, and then, and then the dark fruits now almost into, into current, like a blackberry from raspberry, but sweet. Let's try a second sip. It'll probably be a lot truer to what you're going to get than that first kind of uh, palate awakening. Cheers. Little, little more uh, kind of calmed down. Now we've got, you know, rye spice, but quite a bit of black pepper across my palate. Like it's really um, hot. It's, it's hugging. Uh, at first I was going to say, oh, it drinks easier than 53, but well, it's got quite, quite a bit of presence. Um, and now I can get little bit more, uh, I usually get a cherry on lot 40 and I'm getting a little bit closer into that type of, of fruit quality. So a little bit more cherry, but then the port definitely brings in, uh, in this case, it, it feels like a sweeter fruit. I, I started in the nose and raspberry and then I got it maybe into a black currant and that is the spicing and then ginger and that is here and it's oak spicing. I think it's French oak spicing. Um, like more than rye, like rye gives me black pepper and whatnot, but not I need to figure out exactly what I get with French oak, but I feel like that's where this is coming from. This kind of oak spice, like, like a, a woody spice, um, a little bit of tannin, a little bit of, uh, that kind of quality for me is definitely coming through. I like it, but we probably knew I would because I really like lot 40 rye. Um, but I need some time to really understand this rye. It's not immediately winning me over. But uh, from what little reviews and comments I've read, I think I'm liking it more than most people so far. It is hot. It is spicy, full spice. The, like, I mean peppery. It is peppery and punchy, almost chilly hot. But there's also good fruit. The nose is really quite good. I should have come back to it. The nose is sweeter, sugary almost, like it's, it's sugary, jam, raspberry, that kind of stuff. Uh, but the palate does bring in some lots and lots and lots of oak. Anyways, thanks for letting me open that with you guys uh, and just sharing what was obviously first thoughts. And I'm kind of liking it. All right, I wanted to shoot it against another rye finished in port that I have and that I just uh, tried for the first time this year and really enjoy. So this Milliman Green is uh, uh, Indiana liquid. It's uh, MGP rye, I think. Um, and But what makes it unique is it comes down to Texas and it gets finished in, in port wine casks uh, for an undisclosed amount of time. But, you know, I've read about their website and the, oh, the blender there. What is her name? I'll put it down below. So sorry, I'm just having a moment. Um, but... I, this is my second bottle this year. By that, I mean it was still on sale at Wine & Beyond and I love that first bottle and I wanted to have it go into uh, at least award season for me, which is Christmas. So I've poured this. It's aired just as long as this. It's a little lighter at 47%. It is a straight rye. Uh, you can't really tell here. It's Canada. These guys could put any coloring they want in here with this being a straight rye. This is beautiful, natural color. And it is a little darker than the Lot 40. But let's give this Milliman Green Rye a direct comparison thought. Nose and taste. Okay, direct just after the Lot 40. I'm finding a little more toffee sweetness mixed with rye. This is a little more almost a red wine note. Yeah, in fact, it's all um, almost a red wine, dark fruit. I'm really not getting the rye. Earlier, I thought I would. My notes would say I would. But this continues to have more rye spice and rye bread, even in the nose. 
This this has a it's interesting. I love my first bottle. Maybe it needs to air a little more. Aside from heavy like uh, wine notes, sorry, it's got it's got a little bit of a, like an alcohol something kind of nose to it. That's very interesting. Let's try it on the palate. Cheers. That is um, very different on the palate. I'm thinking it's the French oak that's taken me places here, almost more than the port. Here I've got, I definitely got currant, blackberry, um, slight licorice, um, a, a little bit of oak, but not this spicy oak. It's um, far more relaxed. I know 47, 53, that's significant, but it is um, coating, but not, it's still somehow lighter than this one is. It doesn't blow my palate out like this one in terms of spice. It's there. It's got a little bit of pepper on the edges. Uh, it's got a little bit of hug. Um, better try another sip. Okay, that sip was much better. It was still dark fruits. Now a little more rye pepper. A um, little bit of rye uh, hug and slight... Not lemon. What is that sour grass note I get sometimes in rye. Now I've got more pepper. There it is, even in the finish now, because it was almost absent. And I think it was just in contract to the French oak here. Uh, now it's got a lot more across the back of my tongue, a little bit of spice, a little bit of cracked pepper, that kind of thing. Oh, it's coming into its own. Um, what did I, did I say? A little bit of an East, like almost black licorice, uh, darker tobacco, darker fruits than this. Um, lighter though and not as sweet on the nose uh, i kind of been all over the map with this uh and i really think i should come back uh and share once i've actually let these like breathe for maybe a few weeks like not just uh you know 10 minutes 15 minutes um because oh, this is starting to get better even now on the finish i was surprised at my first thoughts i was like oh I need to back away from my like incredible love for this bottle because the nose was a little tight. It's speaking to me now and now I've got a great interplay of rye spice and, and dark fruit, which is one of my favorite things when you get port and rye together. These are different expressions. It could be the French oak on the uh, lot 40 that is really distinguishing it right now because these are great. Long finish on this Milliman Green is just killer. Thanks for joining me here. Uh, I don't want to rate either of these right now, although I have rated this one, I think four and a quarter. It's almost four and a half. This is a great rye. This could be a great rye. I'm enjoying my first thoughts, but you know, really one tiny neck pour sip. I got to get to know it better. Thanks again, Canadian Chris. You are a gentleman and I just really appreciate you reaching across the country and getting me something that's not available in my market. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you guys. Have a great weekend.